hello again and welcome to the VK60S Farm with Amateur Radio channel. Now, um, if you're having trouble seeing what uh, 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 what's on the screen at the moment, that's because it's camouflaged. Um, now, if uh, the preppers out there will know that uh, this uh, camouflage is pretty important, and you can see that this particular uh, automatic antenna tuner has a sort of black and green disruptive pattern on it for no better reason than I was bored really um, I sealed this up because it's had uh, it's been completely full of water a couple of times um, and uh, I've just dried it out replaced the fuse and it seems to work so um, the case was looking a little bit faded and a little bit porous so uh, I sealed it all up with um, Celastic put a new fuse in it made sure it worked um, then I gave it a, coat, a few coats of black uh, car paint and um, then uh, just because I had some green I dabbed some green on it as well so uh, uh, it looks uh, so it's nice and uh, unobtrusive if I stick it in a tree or on a pole out in the backyard um, and the neighbours won't see it against the, uh, the background of the trees if you see what I mean hopefully now uh, what is that funny looking thing covered in tape sitting on top of it? I hear you cry. Well, that is a static drain choke. Um, it's actually a JCAR uh, acoustic uh, crossover inductor for speakers, uh, 3 millihenry. And um, I think it's something like um, 33k at. Um, uh, 1.8 megs right up to 250k at uh, 28 megs the actual impedance it presents so the automatic ATU won't actually see that um, it's uh, it's just uh, it's just there to uh, get rid of any um, uh, any any static off the antenna wire uh, we'll go straight to ground through that um, well, if there's any DC induced by lightning flashes or uh, anything else, that'll go. Uh, that'll go straight through the choke to ground. Um, I've got um, now. This is the uh, the cables at the other end. There's the RF lead. I've got to take the tape off, of course. And there's another one there for the DC 12 volts. Because uh, it has been installed before, as I say, it's, uh, it's got full of water a couple of times. It had to be removed and, and uh, fixed up or had the fuse replaced anyway um, and what I've done is just as a temporary measure because I've got uh, some sort of fiddling around with the antenna so I've got a banana plug on the ground I've got a banana plug on the um, um, on the antenna wire itself I've actually put banana sockets on the ATU so the ground yeah, oh well, it won't stay on there but you get the picture the ground and the output are little fly leads with uh, female banana sockets on them, uh, female banana connectors. So I can just plug it in and uh, fiddle around or take it away, put the manual tuner in. It's not going to stay there, is it? There we go. Um, so I can just plug that thing in and um, uh, give it a try, have a bit of a play around with it, and uh, remove it as required. So that's the uh, that's the idea, anyway. Um, the good thing about uh, I was trying to think, I haven't got it handy. Have I? Have I got it handy? No. See, the good thing about um, having a banana plug on the wire antenna and on the ground lead is that they can plug into this. this thing here and that can go straight on to the antenna analyzer uh, my little u-kits of course has got the BNC connector on it it's got an adapter on that so there we go that goes straight on the u-kits and the ground and the uh, plugs into the black and the antenna plugs into the red and uh, I can look at uh, 
I can look at the um, the impedance of the antenna and uh, you know how it looks on the on the FG01 antenna analyzer. And because I've been looking at it on the uh, FeatureTech AW07A, which has an in connector on it, I have the N focus to BNC adapter. I plug that onto there, that onto there, that onto the analyzer, wires into the posts. Bingo, done. But once it's all matched up um, and it's all looking good, I'll probably cut those off and uh, just have the wire, uh, the earth wire going straight to a lug on the tuner and um, similarly to the uh, output post. So there we go. Um, just a little bit of a little bit of mucking around with some uh, HF stuff by way of a change from VK60S. Hope you found that interesting or informative or both. And uh, I'll uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. As always.